Chicago is the third largest city in America. It has a very diverse population, and it has targets which would be attractive to terrorists. A blunt assessment tonight from the new head of the FBI in Chicago, Jeffrey Sillette, in an interview with ABC7's I-Team and investigative reporter Chuck Gowdy. It's an exclusive sit-down. So let's first TV interview focusing on safety and security in Chicago. Chuck joins us now with the story. Rob, the city's top G-man on the job here only two weeks. Special agent in charge Jeffrey Sillett at one of the Bureau's most important field offices. Last Saturday, he went to the Michigan Avenue Christmas Parade and Sunday to Soldier Field for the Bears, not as a spectator, but to see how Chicago protects itself and how the FBI can help shore things up. And tonight, in his first interview with the I-Team, there is praise for city readiness and the agents now under his command. The fact that we have not had a terrorist attack or a mass violence incident can be attributed to the exceptional work of the Chicago Police Department, local, state, and federal authorities. Nobody had to school Jeff Sillette that Chicago is a target and was one on 9-11. There's an incredible amount of panic. I was there on the corner of Church and Vesey Street when the South Tower fell. Sillette was assigned to the FBI New York office on that terrible day. So I'm one of those folks that you see running away from the falling dust cloud perhaps foreshadowing his running of the Boston Marathon in 2013 when two bombs exploded ahead of him near the finish line. His wife and children saw the blast. That's scary because that can happen anywhere, anytime. You cannot harden 26.2 miles to make sure that it is absolutely a hard target. Slett suddenly went from runner to agent, leading the Boston investigation for weeks. Both events give Chicago's new FBI leader a unique view of this city and his agency. We are in a, in, in a time where the threats have evolved so rapidly, we need to be more nimble and we need to be better. That doesn't mean we're not good. It doesn't mean that people aren't doing a good job. When I come into a location, my job is to ask the questions, how can we be better and how myself as a leader, I can support my people to be better. The sniper who killed 58 people last month in Las Vegas and wounded hundreds had booked a room overlooking Chicago's Lollapalooza in August. So the fact that Lollapalooza was a potential target, the answer is anything in Chicago could be a potential target. And what I would argue here without getting specific is that the current apparatus of the Chicago Police Department deterred the Las Vegas shooter from coming here. The terms that I use in this are detect, meaning identify it before it happens, deter it or prevent it. And then the other part is being able to respond and investigate. Jeff Sillette says he isn't ready to press for hotel screening of all bags at check-in, as many do in Europe. He says those decisions have to be event-driven and based on the potential high ground location of any attacker. Sillette says he is excited to work with John Lausch, the new U.S. attorney in Chicago. Mr. Lausch was quietly sworn in today at the federal building, so they'll be able to work together starting very soon. Okay. Thanks, Chuck. All right.